Today we'll be focusing on using scale factor to find missing measurements in similar figures. So it's a pretty straightforward process when you're trying to find the miss missing measurements in similar figures. You need to find the scale factor from one shape to another and then multiply the corresponding side by that measurement. So for example, if I'm looking at these two triangles, the first thing you want to notice is that you have a pair of sides that are already known, a pair of corresponding sides, 12 and 6. So if I'm trying to find, I know that 6 times 2 equals 12. So the scale factor from DEF to ABC, from like small to big, is 2. Um, that's from the small to big. And that's going to mean that my... The, my scale factor going the other way from big to small is one half. Big to small. So if I'm going to try to figure out some missing measurements, I'm just going to be using these scale factors. So for instance, I don't know what this side length AB is. So I'm going to take its corresponding side, which is 2.5 centimeters, DE, and I know that the scale factor from the small to big is 2, so I'm going to take 2.5 and I'm going to multiply it by 2. So 2.5 times 2 equals 5, which means that AB has a length of 5 centimeters. So you might write it something like this, AB equals 5 centimeters. Okay. I also have another side that I don't know what it is right now, and that's this one, FE. So when I'm looking there, I might notice, well, its corresponding side is this, 13. And my scale factor from big to small is 1 half. So I'm going to do 13 times 1 half, and that's 13 halves, or 6.5. So this missing measurement is 6.5 centimeters. Okay, so I might say um, Fe equals... 6.5 centimeters. So you found both corresponding sides that are missing, or both mi missing sides, and you found that just by multiplying the side that you know by its scale factor. Let's do one more. So this is a missing measurement in this rectangle below, and it looks like I'm missing this side length of x, and I'm going to do the exact same process. So you can try this on your own if you want. So I'm going from the little to the, to the big, so the scale factor, I would do um, 7 divided by 4, or 7 fourths, or you might have put that as a decimal, 1.75. That's kind of up to you which strategy works better for you. So to get to this missing side x, I'm going to um, take the measurement of ps and multiply it by the scale factor, because the big side, capital P, capital S, that corresponds to it. So I'm going to take 9 times 7 fourths. So I could put 9 over 1 times 7 over 4, and that's going to give me 63 fourths. Or if I wanted to put it as a decimal, 15.75. And this is labeled in centimeters, so I could say centimeters.